I don't have many friends. Okay, maybe that's a bit of an exaggeration. I'm certainly friendly with a lot of people, some of whom I've known for much of my life. But there are very few people I have deep bonds with. That's not a complaint or anything, just a statement. Outside of my family, I'm not really close with anyone anymore. But in some ways, that's a good thing. It makes me more appreciative of the time I get to spend with the few friends I consider irreplaceable. Unfortunately, they just so happen to live on opposite ends of the country. So in order to see each other, we have to travel. Flying ain't no joke these days. Mask up, wipe down, checked in every orifice. You know, since it's totally dead, Hartsfield, um, one thing I will request is uh, maybe a little more AC, because you're not spending money on keeping all these stores open, and it is hot as shit in here. Why is it so hot? I mean, I know it's like unseasonably hot today, but like, is the AC not on? Well, I got here a lot earlier than I intended. Flying in the age of COVID is kind of weird. I'm not exactly a world traveler, so uh, it's strange being in the airport and everybody being spaced out and all these places being closed everywhere. It's kind of it, odd. Oh yes, hey, all right, there we go. <laughs> Well, YouTube action going on in the airport. See, even with COVID, even under these travel restrictions, YouTubers still got to make content. So if there's one thing you can count on, death, taxes, and content. I have to admit that was pretty funny. I started vlogging and like immediately another YouTuber goes by vlogging. Like, <laughs> what, are, what are the odds? Last year, when we were visiting New Hampshire, we stumbled across this amazing little automotive gold mine called BritBits, in which my friend Dave declared that he would buy an old MG if we ever returned. Look, I don't know how successful we're gonna be at convincing Dave to buy a classic British sports car, but as you guys might have seen by now, based on the B-roll or whatever, this place is incredible. This place is exactly the kind of place that you wanna to come to if you are a car enthusiast. Whether you like British cars or not, this is amazing. This place is just saturated in all of the history and mystique of those sort of classic British cars of the 60s and 70s and earlier. Uh, there's some really rare metal in this place and it is absolutely awesome it's called brit bits we are in somewhere in new hampshire i'll put like the actual location on the screen because i don't know i'm not from here but this place is epic no he didn't buy one but as is often the case whenever we are together we inadvertently received a wonderful joke via the owner's offhand comment about my vlogging with a mask on. So apparently I was just informed by Dave that as I was doing some of this talking to camera recording at the uh, Brit Bits place, the kindly gentleman who showed us around said, does your friend want to take the panties off his face? Apparently referring to my, uh, my mask. And uh, all I can say to that is, well played, older gentleman. Well, well played. I have no doubt we'll be getting a lot of mileage out of that one. Well, sadly, I failed at my goal of getting Dave to spend twelve to $20,000 on a classic British sports car, but we're gonna head up to the mountains and see what that's like. I haven't really been doing a very good job of filming, mainly because it's just, you know, live in the moment, everything's been so fantastic here, but uh, hopefully some of this scenic footage, uh, if I've cut it together properly, looks inspiring and cool, or maybe not. Maybe you unsubscribe because this isn't about cars, but if you're sticking with me, I appreciate that, thank you. And uh, let's go see some more scenic, beautiful, northern New England, New Hampshire fall vibes. And that's really what these trips are all about going places, seeing things, and spending valuable time together, replenishing that deep well of friendship that's so important to all of us. It's the same reason I cherish going to Disney with my family. 
It's also the reason so many of us have been struggling during the pandemic and the quarantines that resulted from it. It seems that a return to normal life may be on the horizon, and I hope that whenever it is safe to do so, you find those friends and family members you've been missing and embrace them, spend time with them, and replenish your well. Because it's family and friends like this that keep that well from running dry. Not record on the ride, please. Oh.